Okay, for number 19, uh, this is a geometric mean problem, both 19 and 20 are. And so in 19, you are comparing the big triangle and the small triangle. And so um, you would do the big triangle hypotenuse, so 121 over the leg of the big triangle. Then x over 49. So x times x is x squared. And if I multiply the diagonal there, we get 5,929. And we take the square root of both sides. And so I would check that. And that is a perfect square. So it's 77 is x. In number 20, this is when you're comparing the two smaller triangles. So we go 4 over x equals x over 25. So x times x is x squared. 4 times 25 is 100. And then we square root both sides and we get that it is 10. For number 21, we have um, the different theorems that we learned in the last day of notes. So <coughs> for this one, I would go with 7 over 3. And then that would equal 22.4 over x. I would cross multiply. And get 9.6. Okay, for 22, um, I would probably go ahead and do 32 minus 10 to give me 22. And then I would go x over 16 and then 22 over 10. So 10x equals 352 divided by 10, we get 35.2. <clears throat> then for 23, I would do 24 over x plus 6. And then 27 over 2x minus 2. So here we're going to have a little bit of some larger numbers. Okay, so let's distribute. Uh, 24 times 2x is 48x. Distribute again, we get negative 48, 27x, and then that would be 162. So if I subtract 27x, I get 21x. Then if I add 48 to the other side, I get 210. So if I divide x, oops, is 10. Okay, and then the last page, it says, Sally wants to find the height of the tallest tree in her backyard. She stands so that the tr tip of her shadow, point A, coincides with the tip of the shadow, tree's shadow. Sally is 1.8 meters tall. So here's Sally. The distance from point A to Sally is 3 meters. And from the tree to point A, we have 34.8 meters. How tall is the tree? <clears throat> so um, you're supposed to be able to see that there's the big triangle in here, and then there's this little triangle right here. <clears throat> and so we want to set up corresponding parts. So the three, which is this small, or this leg of the triangle here, um, you want to compare it to this leg of the triangle. So I would say three over 36.5. That would equal Sally's height, which is 1.8 meters, over 
the tree height. We don't know x. So you got to fill that in as x. And if I cross multiply, we get 21.9 meters. Okay, and then lastly on 25, um, this one I would just mainly advise that you read the story problem and label as you go. All right, so and I know the picture isn't the best, but let's just try it. So the side of an oil spill on the ocean, open ocean is difficult to measure directly. In a recent oil spill in the ocean, a scientist overlapped the area with triangle ADE. The spill is AB. He estimated that the measure of each side of the triangle to be AE is 15 meters. So AE is 15. Then AD is 14. And DE is 6. He then drew a line segment CB so that it is parallel to side DE. If CE is 3, so this is 3, estimate the side of, of size of the oil spill AB. All right, so now here is what I would do. You should know that 15 minus 3 gives you this piece right here, which is 12. Okay. I would say we do 12 over the whole side, so 12 over the 15 equals x of AB here over 14. Uh, cross multiply. divide and we get 11.2. Okay, so you have to understand they gave you extra information with the 6. Okay, and you just compared this over the whole side and this over the whole side.